A very good day to you. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. It's Monday, May 13th. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run. The Metro North Railroad system will begin weekend service on the Haverstraw Ossining ferries for the first time ever, beginning on Saturday, May 25th. The pilot program will continue through Veterans Day in November, along with reduced rates on other ferry and commuter services. The MTA touts that as an alternative to driving into Manhattan once congestion pricing begins on June 30th. Metro-North will also offer discounts for monthly tickets on the Havistraw Ossining Ferry, the Newburg Beacon Ferry, the Newburg Beacon Bus, and the Hudson Link. Residents of Orange and Rockland counties will also receive a 25% discount on monthly parking at the North White Plains Station, which is served by the Harlem Line. The current monthly uni ticket fare on the Newburgh Beacon Ferry is $14.50. It will be reduced to a dollar. The Newburgh Beacon Bus monthly uni ticket fare is $10. It will drop to one dollar. The Ulster County Sheriff's Office is going to establish an officer wellness unit to address stress management and other issues affecting all county first responders. Juanita Hotchkiss, the Sheriff's Office Director of Community and Incarcerated Services, says the office seeks to create a cohesive system of care. There's a trickle-down effect that that's going to have on, um, on our community at large. So we just want to make sure that we're offering everyone equality in terms of services when it comes to our first responder wellness initiative. The county legislature is expected to approve the program at its session tomorrow night before going to the county executive for her signature. A city of Poughkeepsie police officer was injured last night when his patrol vehicle was struck by a car trying to evade police. The accident occurred just before 10 p.m. near 651 Main Street. The police vehicle pulled into the parking lot of L. Champlin Ice Cream Stand at Main and Church Streets and waited for assistance. Poughkeepsie firefighters treated the officer at the scene before he was taken by ambulance to Mid-Hudson Regional Hospital. As of early this morning, no suspects were located. Ulster Legislature Chairman Peter Criswell has proposed re-establishing an Ulster and Delaware Corridor Advisory Committee. Under the previous Trail Rail Advisory Committee, it was determined that the segment owned by the county required further investigation on the feasibility of rail with trail, and this new committee will explore that feasibility further, says Criswell. There'll be some studies done. There'll be a deeper dive into what's possible there. Um, so that's what's going to happen. So in terms of money, it's really going to depend on what the, what the ultimate usage happens. The county-owned portion is presently unused, and Criswell says the new committee will determine the best use for those last remaining unused few miles of the corridor between Kingston and the Ashokan Reservoir. More news right after this. Find over 100 retailers allowing you to spend hours shopping safely at the Galleria at Crystal Run. Enjoy the big brands and the diverse selection of family-owned stores all in one location. The Galleria at Crystal Run offers dining options for everyone with Fuji 110 Grill, Allen's Mediterranean Grill, and Peru Cuisine. Discover the Mid-Hudson Valley's premier shopping, dining, and entertainment destination, the Galleria at Crystal Run. For more information, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, or visit GalleriaCrystalRun.com. Sojourner Truth, First Step to Freedom, 1826, a bronze statue of the 19th century civil rights activist with deep Hudson Valley roots, will be temporarily exhibited at Kingston City Hall later this year, and then a site in Newburgh that will be named at a later date, before being installed permanently on the SUNY New Pulse campus in 2026. The statue, created by Ulster County artist Trina Green, depicts truth in the year during which she escaped enslavement, a key pivot point in a life devoted to historic and effective advocacy for abolition temperance, and women's rights. 
Phase one of the Middletown parking garage across from the Paramount Theater could be built by the end of the summer. The environmental review for the work has been completed by the city and awaits state approval. Mayor Joseph DiStefano says the initial work that will add 90 parking spots will be a combination of at-grade and garage design. At grade off of South and off at grade off of um, Washington, but there is, an, there is a level. Is a, like Washington will be two levels off of Washington Street. The $2.5 million in funding for the phase came from a grant from Senator James Scoofus. An additional one or two levels will be constructed when funding is identified, the mayor said. Area residents can expect to hear summer training activities conducted on the military installation at West Point beginning through mid-August to include areas in and around Camp Buckner and Lake Frederick. Training is conducted to simulate the physical and mental challenges cadets will face when they become officers in the U.S. Army. Realistic training has inherent risks, and the safety and welfare of the entire West Point community is the Academy's top priority. A rollover accident involving a side-by-side ATV on Berea Road and Coleman Road in the town of Montgomery on Friday night claimed one life, first responders at the scene said. The Coldenham Fire Department responded at around 9.30 p.m. along with Montgomery Town Police and the EMS. The Orange County Medical Examiner was called to the scene along with state police. Montgomery Town Police are investigating the accident. The state has awarded several grants in the Hudson Valley to protect water quality, prevent farmland conversion, boost public access to outdoor recreation, and conserve open space. Hudson Highlands Land Trust will receive $100,000. Mohonk Preserve will receive two grants, totaling $147,000. Woodstock Land Conservancy will receive almost $63,000. The Wallkill Valley Land Trust will receive $40,000. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run.